I smoke a shit ton of fucking weed. Like, I am lifted off my ass right now. I had, like, about 300 milligrams of edibles. I just lost my lighter. That's why I can't light my blunt right now. Oh, wow. Um, That's terrible. (laughs) You know, I'm just all over the place. But then again, that's one monkey don't stop the show. So the show must go on. Now, (laughs) we have a segment in our show called Roll Up or Hold Up. And we have that followed Mm. by, you know, while out topics of of the week. And this yeah. is just a series of shit that happens throughout the week. And this is just some wild shit. And I try to dig the internet. Some of this shit you probably have heard. Some of this shit you haven't. Mm-hmm. But then again, before we go yeah. into that, this was a marvelous interview. But we're going to go into our roll up or hole up. And this now basically how this is how it goes. Roll up. That means nope, skip it. I don't want it. I don't have nothing for it. Hole up mm-hmm. is exactly what it is. Hole up. We, okay. You feel me? So. Uh-huh. I have a few topics, and just let me know, because I have a, a, a big elephant in the room I wanted to touch on, but okay, we have Florida police finds a tunnel leading to a bank in mm. the middle of Florida, I think in the southern county. Okay. We'll pass on that one. <laughs> yeah. I like, what's that. the point? Yeah, no. I was waiting for more information. No, <laughs> yeah, we not. could pass that one. All right, no, no worry, no <laughs> worry, no, absolutely. All right, there mm-hmm. we go. We go here to the next one. Our boy Future spends three hundred thousand a month on clothes, explaining his lavish lifestyle in an interview with I forgot what's the ma- magazine article. Uh-huh. Um, I find that to be I I only want to hold up on that because I find that to be fucking outrageous. That's yeah. almost like. If I do the math correctly, outrageous. that's like two point something million a year. Probably more. Yeah. Wait, I'm doing, I'm, no, that's three six nine, three six nine, three six nine. That's almost like three. That's almost three million dollars a fucking year on clothes. That's insane. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah, I'm not really checking for that either. But like, what is he like? Is he taking care of his son still? He has <laughs> like, like 10 why kids. are you? He has 10 oh, yeah, kids, and he has, he like, has 40 like tons girlfriends. Of kids. And 40 yeah. girlfriends. No, absolutely. Yeah. I just find this stuff yeah. to be, you know, off the wall. <laughs> off the wall crazy. That is off the wall. That's something that, um, like, with the internal course show, Quest will come up with those kind of articles where it's just, like, over my head. Like, really, that's going on? <laughs> and Wait. then I... No, no, continue. Oh, no, continue. And then I basically just talk about what I feel is uh you know more entertaining but <laughs> yeah future is not someone who i just check for but wait, wait so no that. but i find that to be perfect let's hold up on that yeah. you don't check for future uh-huh. why is that nah because he just i mean you don't check for future some... in this current state or you never you never fuck i with the never movement. check no wow. i was okay. not part of the way Sorry. <laughs> well, see, this is huge. See, I find wait, this is huge. Yes, let's talk about it. Why do why does Danielle fuck with future? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because of like the whole auto tune and then for a good while I thought designer was future. So it was like really confusing oh, when Panda came out. <laughs> So I was just always confused. Like I always consult with Quest. Like so, this is a thing. Like <laughs> oh yeah, no, nah, you're um, right. <laughs> yeah. So it's you know it's the quality of vocals that um, that I don't enjoy from Future. I like you know I like J Cole. I like Boss or whatever. You know I still fuck with Sky Zoo. So like that's my vibe. Um, 
but future spending that money, that kind of money is insane. All right, yeah. Um, let's wait. I'm not. I'm not mad at you. That's definitely fucking insane. Um, yeah. The, let, let's, let's, and let's, the fact that it's an article about it is crazy. Like, why do people care? Wait, why do people care to report on it? And why is he spending that much? I'm just. Wait, no, you're absolutely <laughs> right. Why do people care? That's the biggest. That's the biggest thing. Because I'm not gonna hold it. <laughs> yeah. The only reason uh-huh. I even viewed it, because like when I did the math, I'm like, that is fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. That is insane. Like that is. Mm-hmm. It just only makes me think about how much money is he really making <laughs> off of music. Like this guy, yeah. does he really have that many hits? But that's another conversation. <laughs> right? Yeah, because now I'm curious. You know, like because he never had that tour, right, with Nicki, like he was no. supposed to have. Yeah. So, so I don't man, know where this... his money is coming from. And you know, most of the money is from shows, but then again, this is yeah. That's that's a whole different a whole different thing. Um, yeah. Now, now we have another interesting topic. That's the last one mm. in hip hop before we go on to the the wild out shit. Um uh-huh. Twenty One Savage being arrested on being an immigrant. Right. I yeah, we that... talked about this on the show too. Oh no, absolutely. Now, we spoke on this as well. And you know, since you're the, the, the host of honor, the guest of honor, I found mm-hmm. this to be one part part fucked up and two part part f- fucking hilarious. And I, I only yeah. say it's hilarious because, you know, like, he, they knew he was a fucking, the whole shit, mm-hmm. was, like, years ago. I'm just finding yeah. this fucking, like, it's fucked up now that you wait that he's success, successful to fucking embarrass him on the stage like this. Right. Like, yeah. I don't um, know if my view was like, I'm like, that's the <laughs> fucked up part. I think that's everybody's <laughs> view because he talks about it on that J. Cole feature um, a lot. The video just came out and then he was like arrested days later. Mm. So I'm not sure if they were like investigating him since he filed, because I know in 2017 he filed for a U visa. Um, so yeah, no, I guess it's... they probably I guess they probably were just like following him around. You know, it's the hip hop police anyway. Yeah, but like, this right. is like on a whole nother level. I'm not I... sure why that's the fuck that's and that's the shit mm-hmm. that's the shit like you know it's not the like you said you guys covered it we covered it it's mm-hmm. just that i find that the situation is the now that really upsets me he just yeah. released a new album he just like you get what i'm saying like the timing right. behind the everything timing. is like but and, also i read an article where they were saying that 50 cent was saying that takashi was like riding him out and that's why he got oh, arrested shit. all of a sudden. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga so. got you on fire. <laughs> you go to jail. You go to jail. You go to jail. Because <laughs> it lines up perfectly with that other article of him snitching, so. You ain't um, never lied. You ain't never fucking yeah. lied. Damn, Takashi. I hate it had to be you. <laughs> <laughs> they just blame everything on him, so. Absolutely. Yeah, it's unfortunate, and um, but you could tell, like in other interviews with Twenty One, that he was a little resistant about talking about his history, or you know, his um, where his parents were from. I was looking at that Elliot Wilson, that oh, yeah. Rat Radar um interview, and Elliot mentioned it, and he looked kind of hesitant that he even wanted to talk about it. So, and that was probably like a couple of years ago, maybe I'm not too sure when it was um done. Yeah, no, but, absolutely. But especially if you're talking that straight about the fucking, the the straight about the fucking the the a shit. But then again, this 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 follows super what I was saying on a on our cast of a few episodes ago with the Takashi mm-hmm. shit. Basically, like this new generation is a bunch of frauds. I don't say that oh, with yeah. no disrespect. Like I mean, like no, nah, no one gives right. a fuck. That's Even why I say it. No one cares right. if they're frauds. Like yeah. every, all of us, exactly. Like, you know, all, people of our age saw right through the Takashi bullshit. Right. I'm just uh-huh. being really honest. I'm being yeah. really honest. Like I saw I'm like, yeah, bro, this dude is not out here bang. Like we seen real killers and bangers. Mm-hmm. Like you feel me? It's right. not you. You feel me? But then again, mm-hmm. it's like 
I see that this generation, they don't care. They don't care if you don't, you feel me? Some yeah. of the most successful artists of this generation, like say the Drakes of this world, you know, they've never mm -hmm. had a strong affiliation to the streets in the sense yeah. of say like a Mob Deep or Jay-Z or, or, or right. you know what I'm saying? Like some of the, uh -huh. of the past generation. So that's yeah. not, there's nothing bad. Like I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. It's just that like now, like these dudes just lying and faking the funk. That's just like the norm now. Yeah. I, that's the shit that I'm like. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing in hip hop. That's like we yeah. just, we're lying. Where we're we're lying about what we what we're down and affiliated with, and we're lying mm -hmm. about where we're from. Like fuck yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> you know right. Even the um <laughs> even the C C N N uh, reporter was saying like his whole persona for Twenty One Savage is uh is false. Yeah. But even <laughs> even like these C N N reporters know like. In the hip hop world, that's not what's that? Yeah, like so. Once we get past his his situation being fucked up, because you know I never want to laugh on that. But the thing that yeah, I am so going to laugh you, on. Oh no, no, no. What you gonna say? How do you feel about the whole Chris Brown and uh, Offset going at it about the the meme that uh, Chris Brown posted about Twenty One? Oh, I didn't even get to see that. They're going back and forth um, with, with the Chris Brown. What meme did Chris Brown post? <laughs> so oh. he posted a video. <laughs> he posted a video of 21 rapping, but it was a voiceover of someone speaking, like rapping in an English accent. <laughs> 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 and then uh, Offset commented saying that was lame. It, you know, memes aren't funny or something like that in his own Offset voice or whatever. I'm but, um uh, I'm sorry, I, I gotta put it like this. This is fucking mm -hmm. hip hop. One yeah. of the reasons I wanted you on this fucking this show as a guest is because you have a strong knowledge and appreciation of hip hop. And in the mm -hmm. history of hip hop, you just set yourself up to get outed. Like, all I said, yeah. I get what you're saying. This man's going mm -hmm. through some shit right now. This is a terrible time to laugh and clown him. I get it. I get yeah. it. Like, we right. get that. But mm -hmm. once we start talking hip hop, and the roots right. and the rudimentary of hip hop, bro. Uh -huh. You not from what you claim is shit. You not from, it, bro. You not even yeah. from the, the 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 hood. You from, bro. You not even from the fucking country. You from, like you can't right. like let alone the exactly. hood. Exactly. Not even exactly. from this country. Like yeah. you got a whole different situation, a set of explaining to do. And then the shit yeah. that I find it to be fucked up, it's two popular artists, and within a year being exposed as fuck fucking frauds. I, yeah. I don't. Like, honestly, like at the end of the day, well, like I... yeah, it just reminds me of this uh, clip that I saw recently of, uh, you know, who Phyllis Hyman was, right? Yep. yep absolutely. Yeah. So she was on like video. So it was this old clip that I just saw. And she was like, yeah, you um these uh, labels, they just dress up any old body that has no talent and they just make, you know, give them artist development and push them out there. So that's basically she predicted what's happening now, but it's yeah. just about you know hip hop and stuff, Absolutely. and that's what's happening. <laughs> like, I'm everybody not feel like everybody feel like they could get on. But the shit is that it's like at the end of the day, I'm not mad because the point that that I feel that that I that everyone strikes on where I listen because you know how I like to do a lot of listening. I listen to other casts. I like I, I'm just a mm -hmm. big listener. I find it to be in my latter years something I enjoy that and reading. But mm -hmm. then again, is when I listen, the one thing that they all agree and I could agree on is that they Takashi, Twenty One Savage, yes, they're fucking frauds, but they mm -hmm. do make good music. Yeah. yeah. Right, so that's right. the one thing we cannot ignore. They they are yeah. talented in some aspect of the game or the world or the word, however you want to put it. They they have mm -hmm. talent, but the fact yeah. is that they use this image that they were, you know, down with this or was from here to propel mm -hmm. that talent. And now, like they said, it's high risk, high reward. Like right. you feel me? He knew what was on the line. Like mm -hmm. the same thing with Takashi. Takashi knew what was on the line, affiliating yourself with these people and what was going on. Same thing with uh, Twenty One. He knew his visa was expired. He knew you put in an application to get a new yeah. one. You knew. Right. Like, you understand? Like this wasn't this wasn't new to him. That's the part that is like I I don't feel right. sorry for. I'm just it's curious on. I'm curious on how like he's is he paying on taxes? Like is it gonna be like another case <laughs> after this? Because, like, you're not even an American citizen. You got to pay to the crowd, like, <laughs> my nigga. Parliament coming for you. <laughs> so I'm just like, the I have more questions. The queen needs her dues. <laughs> I 
I just had more questions after our um after that news dropped on Sunday. I was like, so how oh. is he paying his taxes? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? This is this is gonna be an interesting one. He might have another court case. He might be in there for other reasons. You feel me? Right. Dual That's tax why they his ass. <laughs> Okay, you know, <laughs> 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 <laugh